is Jonathan Mason from Self-Contained Lifestyle and today we're going to be painting the walls of the bedroom. We finished the ceiling, we painted it white and it is beautiful. The lights are really bouncing off and making things beautiful. But the walls, we're going to be painting magnolia. And I'll tell you why we're painting it magnolia. Because it's a slightly darker colour than white. And this room is south facing. So during the midday, the sun streams in through this window when it's not cloudy of course and the whole room is really really bright in fact it's a little too bright and this is why I want to paint it a, a more muted tone like magnolia so that the light doesn't bounce that much that much but still keeps the room really really bright and the first step towards painting the wall is cutting in but before we can do the cutting in we must mask off the areas we don't want painted so let's get on with that. Oh, it's going to be a good day, this. Oh, I can't wait to see the colour on these walls. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, let's get to it. Now, masking off is a real easy business. But it takes a little while, and you must pay a little bit of attention to detail to get really nice straight lines. So all we do, we tear off a piece of tape, now, for me, it's about, I don't know, three, me uh, three feet. It's about as far as I manage. I'm a small guy, so my arm strand isn't that wide. You just tear off a piece like this, and now we're going to place it on the, roof, on the ceiling, because that's the part we don't want to get painted. Now, you must be careful that when you put it, that we get a nice straight edge with the masking tape. That's where you have to pay attention to the detail. So let me show you how this one goes. simple. Now all I have to do is do the whole room plus the window frame and also the light switch fitting. The rest which I'm going to be painting oil I'm not going to worry about it I'll do the cutting in during that time. Okay when I've finished all this I'll see you then. Okay the masking is done. There was a little bit of a problem on the PVC where the masking tape wouldn't stick so I had to get a little bit of alcohol on a cloth and rub it down to make it dust free then the masking tape stuck fire. Now the job is to cut in along the edges and I'm going to be using exactly the same stuff I did before a small brush, a small pan full of magnolia paint like over here. So let's begin to the cutting in. Okay I've got my pan and I've got my brush and it's loaded with paint now we just have to start cutting in to the edges. Be very gentle, try not go underneath the masking tape. Just paint over it nice and softly. But put lots of paint on it. There we are. That's going to go in. Oh, and it's going to look nice. It is really going to look nice. Now, be aware that when this paint dries, it will get a little lighter and it'll come out in all its glory. So we just paint over, just like this. In the corner, the same thing. Go up and down. Now, when you're putting it on, try not overdo it. But also, like we did before, go about five inches away from the edge, just so the roller can fit comfortably in to the, to the corner without making any damage because here you want to be very very careful you don't want the roller to touch the ceiling otherwise you're going to have to paint that over again now this will need a couple of coats so we're just going to put the coats on ok there's quite a bit of work here to do let me finish up here and I'll be back with you. Okay, now that I've cut in around all the edges, I've got to remove the masking tape. And now one thing about masking tape that hardly anybody tells you 
is that the longer you leave it on, the stickier it gets because it gets moist and then it becomes really, really sticky. So it's a good idea that as soon as you finish your painting, take the masking tape off because I've left, left lots of room for the paintbrush to get in between. I don't need to get up there again. Even if I have to put a second coat on, I've got a solid line in there, it shouldn't be a problem. So the sooner I get the masking tape off, the better for all of us. Because then I won't have to paint the ceiling again. So let's get to removing the masking tape. Okay, now when we remove the masking tape, we'll take a little edge where we've joined it. Remember, we've only put it in on about three foot lengths. Sometimes they've been shorter. And we just pull away gently away from where it's painted. There we are, like this. And it leaves a beautiful straight line all the way. There we go. And now we just need to remove all of it. And I'll be back with you as soon as I've finished. See you then. Well, I've finished removing all the masking tape. And now is the exciting time where I get to paint the whole wall, blocking all that colour and let's transform this room into something that's beautiful. At the end of this painting, the wall that is, we'll have a good idea of exactly what the room is going to be about. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. I can already see it in my mind. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous because after that we've only got the skirtings and the cupboards and the doors to do and we're going to be painting those white and in oil. But for now, Let's get cracking, <laughs> let's get some paint in my pan, the big one, and let's get rolling. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll begin to roll. Okay, like we've done before, let's get a nice roll of paint on the roller. Oh, that's coming out really beautiful. Just get a nice, even coat, bring it up under the shelf, and let's just roll it all in. There we are. Beautiful, even coat of paint. And now we'll put it on the wall. Okay, we'll just pick it up, take it, and let's just roll, nice roll on the wall like okay. that. There we go. There we go. Now, remember I told you that some people say you must paint in W's and all that sort of stuff? Well, this is what they mean. I'll show you now. Just let me get some more paint. This is what they mean. You go down like that, you go up like that. You go down like that and you go up like that. You go down like that and you go up like that. It's a natural thing to do um, to get round, but I'm just going to be putting this paint on because I've got some really awkward angles because I've got a big double bed in the middle of the room that I have to keep moving around and I have to paint in sharp areas. But as you can see, the paint goes on really, really nicely. Try and put a nice thick coat on. Be careful not to hit the ceiling or not to go too close to the walls. And I'll see you after I've painted this. Well, I've finished painting the walls. I've only put the first coat on. I know I'm going to need another one, maybe two more. But wow, doesn't this room look beautiful? It's really brought out the light in this room. Now, we've been living in a cloud of mist here for the last, oh, I don't know, about two weeks. So it's been very dull and grey and you know, drizzly the whole time. And it's been cold, as you can see from my equipment. I'm not in short sleeves or anything, I'm wrapped up quite warm. So the paint is not drying very well. It's taking a really long time. So I'm gonna now go down and switch the central heating on because the heat will cause more warmth and the paint will dry out quicker. And then I can put the rest of the two co paint, uh, coats of paint on. Now, it's gonna take a little while, so, after that, I'm going to be doing the, the skirtings and the cupboards and the doors. I'm going to be painting them white. So for this um, video of painting the walls, I'm going to call it a day. And I'm going to see you when we start painting the skirtings and stuff. So if you like my videos, please subscribe. And uh, carry on viewing what I have to do. I thank you very much. Goodbye. Yes! Please subscribe!